Hello dear students today we will do exercise 2.3 of class 4 maths world and today we will solve question number 1 and 2 and question number 1 a part is find the sum of 1198 1296 and 796 so for adding them let's take the currency notes for 1198 98 will take 1000 rupee note 100 rupee note 9 10 rupee notes and 8 1 rupee notes and for 1296 will take 1000 rupee note 200 rupee notes 9 10 rupee notes and 6 1 rupee notes and for 796 will take 7 100 rupee notes 9 10 rupee notes and 6 1 rupee notes now on adding ones since 10 ones is equal to 1 tens so 20 ones is equal to 2 tens so we'll take 2 tens instead of 20 ones so as 0 ones are remaining so we'll write 0 in ones column and 2 on top of tens column so dear students now number of tens are 29 but 10 Tens is equal to one hundred, and twenty tens is equal to two hundred. So we'll take away ten tens and again ten tens. So for twenty tens, we'll take two hundred notes. So we are left with nine tens that we'll write in tens column, and two hundreds we'll write on top of hundreds column. So dear students, we have now. Twelve hundreds, but ten hundreds is equal to one thousand. So instead of ten hundreds, we'll take one thousand rupee note. So we are left with two hundreds that we'll write in hundreds column, and one thousand that we'll write on top of thousands column. So on counting the thousands, there are three. So we'll write three in thousands column. So our answer is three thousand two hundred ninety. Now move to question number one B part. Find the difference between seven thousand six hundred ninety three and four thousand five hundred sixty six. So dear students, let's take the currency notes for seven thousand six hundred ninety three. For that we'll take seven thousand rupee notes, six hundred rupee notes, nine ten rupee notes. And three one rupee notes. Since we can't subtract six from three, so we'll convert one ten rupee note into ten one rupee notes. And now we have thirteen ones and tens that will reduce from nine to eight. On removing six ones from thirteen ones, we are left with seven ones. So we'll write seven in ones column, and in the same way, on removing six tens from eight tens, we are left with two tens that we'll write in tens column. And on removing five hundreds from six hundreds, we are left with one hundred that we'll write in hundreds column. And on removing four thousands from seven thousands, we are left with three thousands that we'll write in. Thousands column, so our final answer is three thousand one hundred twenty-seven. Now let's move to question number two. The price of a fan is rupees one thousand four hundred sixty-seven, and the price of a cooler is two thousand two hundred seventy-five. How much total amount is required to buy both the things? And the price of a fan is rupees one thousand four hundred sixty-seven. The price of cooler is rupees two thousand two hundred seventy five. Now to calculate the total amount, we will add the price of fan and cooler, and for adding them, we'll take the currency notes for fan's price. That's one thousand four hundred sixty seven, and similarly for cooler's price, we'll take the currency notes. That's two thousand two hundred seventy five. So dear students, we have twelve ones. And we know ten ones is equal to one ten. So instead of ten ones, we'll take one ten rupee note, and we are left with two ones that we'll write in ones column. 
and one tense that will remain will write as a carry on tense column now we have 14 tens and 10 tens is equal to 100 so instead of 10 tens we'll take 100 rupee note and we are left with 4 tens that will write in tens column and one will write on top of hundreds column now we have seven hundreds and on counting thousands they are three in number so we'll write three thousand in thousands column so our final answer is 3742 and the total amount required to buy both the things is rupees 3742 so dear students your homework is to do question number one and question number two in your notebooks bye bye students